Hello, everybody, and thank you very much for joining me for another Tales from the Crypt review. Today, I will be talking about Season 3, Episode 2, Carrie and Death, directed by Stephen D'Souza and starring Kyle MacLachlan as Earl Raymond Diggs. And this is a very entertaining and well-paced episode of Tales from the Crypt. It does what a lot of these stronger episodes does in that it successfully blends uh, humor and horror very, very well. This episode actually has uh, a pretty straightforward plot and only a few characters in it. But for the most part, with only a few minor complaints, it works very, very well. And it does feature a great over-the-top performance by Kyle MacLachlan, which makes it worth the price of admission alone, in my opinion. So this episode starts out with our main character, Diggs, and he's a bank robber, and we also find out as the episode goes on that he is a murderer, so this is definitely not uh, a very nice guy. And the episode starts out with him, uh, you know, robbing the bank, and there's a search out for him, like a manhunt, I believe they call it. And uh, the problem for Diggs is that he's being chased by an officer. And I have to say, this is a pretty exciting chase scene, especially considering when this was made. I thought it was above average. Um, so it turns out that what winds up happening is he and the officer both lose their vehicles as uh, Diggs' car blows up. So now he's on foot and he figures he has 25 miles to go to cross the border into Mexico where obviously he cannot get into trouble. He also at this point thinks that the policeman has been killed, uh, but that is only temporary as we will find out that the officer is indeed still alive. We also see a vulture for the first time who is kind of like a character, uh, as well in this episode, as the characters will interact with the vulture quite a bit. And uh, we will also find out that our officer is still in pursuit, which Diggs will soon find out. Uh, this also takes place in kind of a desert-like setting, and it's pretty hot. And that is used pretty effectively into the episode's advantage. Uh, so the officer and the vulture are both still in pursuit of Diggs. And for some reason, Diggs starts talking to the vulture which is kind of a little bit of exposition to let us know about the plot, but it's also pretty funny. Some of his lines of dialogue are pretty funny, and uh, Kyle MacLachlan actually sells this pretty well, I thought, for the most part. So Diggs decides he's going to go to this bar to get some refreshments because it's really hot, but when he gets there, it's empty. There's no food or, or drinks of any kind, and also the officer finds him with some help from our friend the vulture. They get in a fight, which again is a pretty well-done fight scene for the most part. Uh, I thought it was pretty realistic. What winds up happening is the officer gets a the upper hand and he cuffs them both together. But Diggs uh, has a gun and he actually shoots the officer. But before the officer dies, he eats the key to the handcuffs, basically. So uh, now Diggs is in big trouble. He's eliminated the officer. But he now has to drag or carry the body with him all the way uh, to Mexico which is still about six miles away. And also our friend the vulture is still lurking around following him as well. So then we get a scene with Diggs on the move again, where he's basically talking to himself, complaining, carrying the body. And uh, this scene wasn't that great. It was some exposition to give us a little more into Diggs's character. But uh, this did feel a little silly, uh, the scenes where he just basically talks to himself. Uh, but I guess it's okay. I guess it's fine. So... At this point, Diggs is continuing to struggle to carry the body, but eventually he gets very close to the border. He's really excited about this. He starts like dancing with the officer's body. It's very, very, very strange. It turns out he just has to go up this hill and he'll cross the border. Uh, and he's kind of like mocking the officer like he won. Probably not a good idea. Should probably wait till you cross the border to do that. I'm just saying. So he makes it to the top of the hill. But uh, then he basically falls back down with the body and he starts yelling at the vulture again. Uh, taking out all his frustrations on the vulture. Again, probably not a great idea. So he gets this brilliant idea that he's going to break the handcuffs. He's going to use like a stick, a rock, and the officer's badge. Uh, this seems like a good idea except that he's starting to kind of not see that straight from all the heat, which I thought was clever. And he basically cuts his hand off with the badge. He misses and he falls even further. And now it turns out that uh, Diggs is paralyzed and that uh, our vulture friend is still waiting for him. And in a pretty gory but fitting end to this episode, our vulture uh, friend gets their meal after all. So kind of a fitting end for uh, a not too nice character in Diggs. And like I said, this whole episode is fast moving and entertaining. Some of the dialogue is a little too silly at times and you know the parts with Diggs talking to himself don't totally work for me but overall this is a great episode 
with a very memorable performance from Kyle McLachlan. Fans of his should definitely check out this episode. But I do recommend it for everybody, and I'm going to give Carrie and Death a 4 out of 5. Definitely kind of a minor series classic in my opinion, and an episode that I do feel is essential if you are viewing Tales from the Crypt. So 4 out of 5 for Carrie and Death, and as always, thank you very much for watching.